Here we go, hammies. So this is the uh, reverse hammy uh, bridge or elevated hamstring bridge, I'll probably call it. Um, I first seen this with, uh, I believe it was like different uh, Olympic weightlifters from uh, China. Uh, and so I've seen this also called like the Chinese plank where they just hold that plank position and actually throw weight on their chest. But what I found this really helped with is, is really engaging quite a lot of hamstring and being aware of if you're using your back to do most of the extension or your glutes and hamstrings. And you can add weight to your waist to make this more difficult. What I'm gonna do, actually pull this closer. What I'm gonna do is put my shoulder blades right at the bottom of them on the bench. I don't wanna be up like this driving down. My arms are relaxed. Okay, my chin is tucked so I'm not like, hyperextending. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my heels up on the bench. Bring it a little bit closer. My heels on the bench. Okay, from here my back's a little bit extended. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tuck my hips under, embrace my core, I'm gonna fly in that smiley face. Okay, if you don't know what that is, refer to the kettlebell smiley face video. So with my core tucked, I'm then gonna think push and pull my heels down towards me. Nothing's gonna actually move as far as my heel. Pull and push down. And as long as I don't arch, I feel an insane amount of hamstrings here. This is wild. My toes are pointed towards me, so I feel a little bit of my, of my shin as well. And I can palpate the sides of my torso to make sure I'm bracing my core. Because if I'm relaxed here, I don't feel a lot of hamstring. The moment I brace and tuck, I feel lots of hammy. Again, holding here, controlling the breath, and this is going to be the elevated hamstring bridge.